गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स इज माई ऑडियो क्लियर एन एनी बडी कन्फर्म ओके थैंक यू okay guys just uh, last thing <clears throat> can you see the agenda screen on the screen okay so let's begin uh, today's uh, discussion on uh, dynamic channel ka webinar uh, uh, this uh, webinar you can say is a consecutive part of the trendline session trendline session was very you know Uh, sort of on the basic lines and here we are developing the concepts uh further into a channel and uh, in the coming months uh, we will you know develop this concept into a full fledged uh trading method which uh, can be automated and can trade without your presence so in that sense uh, this might be you know uh, very important to understand all the concepts here uh, the session is not recorded and recordings will not be provided uh, because uh, if you attend these sessions then only you will be able to use uh, what i'm want to share with you guys so today uh, we will be covering the static snrs and the dynamic snr which is nothing but your dynamic trend line how we go and think about channels what are the you know people researching on this thing what researches they have done uh how we are uh, doing some uh, doing things differently than those uh, researchers uh we will be looking at few of the concept from rsi and uh, how i use those few concepts and uh, we web as a confirmation tool to trade dynamic channels and and in the end we will be looking at stock selection process uh which is helpful to trade uh, using dynamic channels also uh, okay we will talk about this more uh, when we will uh, come across this part of the webinar and the final checklist uh, before placing the trades this is the important part when you want to design your whole system not only this system but any kind of system in the meanwhile during the session uh, during the webinar if you have any kind of question or doubt uh, kindly uh, uh, you know post the questions immediately uh, most probably we will be will will not be having much time at the end of the webinar so it's better 
where you get your uh, doubts and queries clear during the uh, session is progressing so let's begin with the uh, standard uh, static support and resistance line these are your uh, like normal uh, snr line where the price is trading in a range as you can see here the price was acting as a so resistance which turned support then which turned resistance and finally it broke out as a trader this is the first thing we learn into the markets okay then uh, support throughout the whole range you can say that the stock is trading with this bottom as range and this upper part as the top of the range and uh, based on this normally you know you like to sell near the top of the range you like to buy near the bottom of the range you like to buy after some people like to buy at the breakout some people like to buy at the retest of the breakouts and all those stuff okay but normally what happens as a trader we tend to trade in this zone in between the range if the price is going up or price is going down that is not the correct way to do it but still we do it so this is our normal uh, support and resistance line next is uh, in the next example we have this kind of thing where once a resistance now a support that snr flip concept this is going on the price was moving sharply then stuck in a range then moved up and formed a bigger range then crossed the range again stuck in a range right so in those situations we also use this uh, snrs now i call these snrs as a static snr because once they are placed they will not adjust themselves according to the price behavior that's why the name static comes okay and uh, you know this type of there are actually these static snrs are a uh, pretty good to trade because uh, this will give you a better idea better way to look at the market so like for example if you see something like this where the flip is happening in 90 to 95 percent of the cases you will see a channel forming like this okay so when you have such kind of things in your hand you will already know that you can always buy this pullback you can always buy this as a pullback whereas this channel line will be your sl and uh, eventually you can trail your sl and uh, you know try to capture this exclusive moves so this is one of the funda which uh, people used to do when uh, you know snr flip happens snr flip happens it 90 to 95 percent of the times will lead to a channel of course this is also a static channel once it placed on the charts it will not adjust things itself according to the price behavior uh, okay there are a few questions from uh, Bharaji. I cannot unmute my mic. No, Bharaji, you cannot uh, use mics. Uh, or you can only type the questions. And uh, Bishik uh, Jain has a query. Screen is not updating. Can uh, anybody confirm whether the screen is uh, okay or not? Can you see my writing on the screen and everything? Yeah, then the problem might be with the Abhishek Jain setup. Uh, all you can do, Abhishek Ji, is like uh, you know, log out and again join the webinar. So you will get it. Okay, thank you, guys. <coughs> okay, 
So this is your static support and resistance. We will not spend much time as this is just the introduction of where we want to head. Okay. Now here is a real example I am taking. Notice one thing I am purposely using a time frame of two hours. Okay. The trading on two hours time frame is not advisable. But, uh, you know, to show you some concepts, uh, I need some imparity in the price behavior. That's why that is the only reason I have chosen this to ask a time frame. So here you have a trend line. This is your regular falling TD. TD stands for your trend line where it is giving a nice resistance to the price whenever it goes breaks out does a g test where the snr flip happens and prices move up okay now for the breakout traders this is the problem they face okay the price broke out above the trend line some people buy here and basically it gives you a fake out or you can say a false breakout and tries to come back again into the you know below the trend line again tries to break leaves a fake out again comes back right so these are the problems we face with static trend line Okay, now another problem is we can add many more things to the you know, price structure. Like this is your uh, long term falling trend line. If you have seen those uh, trend line wala videos, you might be knowing that uh, we use reverse trend line ka concept and all stuff. Okay. So on those lines only I'm modifying it like to show you to explain you how the things are working. Then here we have some short term trend line is going on. Okay, also we can add a static SNR to the mix like this. And based on this, we can say that the price is falling or short term may it is gaining the momentum. It is making low and higher low and higher low and higher low. But at the same time, due to presence of this trend line, it is uh, making high, lower high, lower high, sorry, lower high. Finally breaks out, but still it is making lower high drops down makes another higher low and moves up so if you enter here there is always a doubt in mind whether this as uh, resistance will hold or uh, price will break out of the resistance because using these static trend lines or uh, static uh, support and resistances line we are not able to catch the momentum price is showing and that's where the need of dynamic trend line uh, occurs basically we call it dynamic trend lines they are nothing but your moving averages there are various moving averages uh, we all know simple exponential uh, linear weighted uh, reverse exponential and all uh, triangular hul uh, hull uh, moving average and all so basically using this moving averages we define them in a particular way such that they behave as and support and resistance and this is the key or this is the basic concept which uh, on which we will be building our uh, complete theory today so before going there just have a look at the various formulas mathematically how they look uh, so don't worry if you are afraid of the formulas and all stuff uh, it's actually not that tough actually 
so basically here pt pt minus 1 pt minus 2 these are your prices you know some people use close some people use h plus l by 2 some people use you know h l c by 3 we will we will be using later today high only highs only lows okay so this is your price which can be of any form you like okay then this is wt this wt's are your weights and based on your weights we define different types of moving averages okay if we keep all the weights equal so this becomes your simple moving average right if we keep our weights linearly arranged like this is one this is two this is three this is four the current the price is higher is the weight that way okay so that's your linear moving average in exponential moving average we use exponential factor so that the recent price will get higher weights and uh, this thing is really important to understand because uh, this weights ka concept will lead to the foundation of the system which we will be covering in the next uh, uh, session or next webinar final webinar of this trend line series so i hope uh, this little bit of this understood to you uh, if you want to read more on this uh, there is a you know a professor from some university in norway uh, he publishes research paper uh, like he is very good with uh, researching tech concepts in financial trading basically his paper name market timing and moving averages anatomy and performance of trading if you are good with equations you can read this paper this is a research paper so you will get to know many things how people are using moving averages to time the market and what are the results uh, he is getting he has done an extensive work on uh, trading rules which normally people use i'm not talking about retailers or institution i'm talking in general about traders everyone included so here are a few questions when does the static trend line remains no more valid is it after the breakout and retest or it has no more value or it can be used as a reference further down the line also yeah uh, it can be used as a reference for further down the line uh, if the trend line or uh, you know a uh, normal snr line or trend line is uh, valid or is holding the price from a very long term perspective if it is a short term perspective once it is crossed you start ignoring it dema stands for daily ema the ema which is part brought on they see there are actually uh, two two terminologies on dema one is your daily ema ema plot on the daily time frame other is your double ema so you take an ema let's say ema of close uh, any period let's take nine period okay you have this array with you these values with you you take another ema of some different period let's say x so this becomes your double ema co concepts okay already moving averages are lagging by adding some weights to it we are trying you know to increase the responsiveness of these lagging moving averages and when we do it double moving averages it you know uh, reduces all the benefits of uh, plotting it on the chart but on indicator side if you uh, start observing these things uh, they will tell you the actual uh, momentum actual speed the intensity of the pullbacks and everything uh, this uh, double moving averages can be you know helpful but normally people don't use exponential in double they normally tend to love either triangular or uh, simple weighted 
okay so now why we use dynamic trend lines basically these are your moving averages dynamic trend lines are nothing but your moving averages but we are looking at them in a different perspective so every chart every stock has its own personality and behavior remember this the way reliance move the volatility it has the same volatility will not be seen in hindustan unilever the way Baja, uh, bajaj finance moves the volatility it has the same volatility is not visible in access bank or icici okay the same way let's say take an example of sbin uh, the same way sbin was moving 10 days back it will not move the same way today okay so even on a single chart also you will see different personalities and different behaviors okay so due to these nuances these subtle differences in price behavior uh, we use dynamic trend lines to you know adjust our uh, charts adjust our thinking based on the change in their personalities okay so trend lines are not as we discussed trend lines are nothing but moving averages simple exponential triangular are few popular uh, this is your sms ems and tms okay some people also use tema triangular of ema this is also possible so i generally like to use ems for intraday purposes and uh, sms simple moving averages for you know uh, portfolio uh, observations portfolio analysis so this dynamic trend lines gives you simple uh, support and resistance but at the same time they give you an idea of the strength of the current trend remember this this is like the additional thing one of the additional thing which we will get over static trend lines okay so let's move on the chart uh, we are looking at ultra cam uh, on uh, hourly time frame here you can see the price is trading above this particular ema so it was in a trending phase which is uptrend then it moved to a non-trending phase where notice this carefully where the price was hovering around the ema earlier it was taking proper supports on ema now it is hovering around the ema and then again it is facing some sort of resistances on the ema and again hovering around this ema okay something like this you can see on the charts so this is the normal behavior if you have studied wyckoff cycles market you know stays in a non-trending phase then marks up then mark you know again some accumulation or redistribution if it marks down we say it's a distribution but if it is mark up we say it's an accumulation so market basically you know by people say that market uh, stays in a range from 60 to 70 percent of the time and trends only you know 20 20 to 30 percent of the time oh, that is the case but uh, these statics and all come from your higher time frame that is daily weekly and monthly we are here today to discuss more on intraday uh, time frame okay also notice <coughs> how the moving average this dynamic trend line was going up and how it changes its slope and then how it moves down by changing another slope and here though it is changing slopes at the various occasions but if you observe the price behavior 
you will understand or you will get an idea how to read a pullback okay we will discuss more on this in the coming slides couple of slides just have patient till then this is just a gra a chart to demonstrate how we can you know observe the dynamic trend lines now before moving further i i have adjusted this trend line to a particular period ka value like this was my ema i adjusted this period ka value such a that it has maximum touches basically what i am doing here is i am curve fitting manually okay curve fitting manually on historical data now remember one thing any technique which curve which uses curve fitting on the historical data previous data is not reliable okay so simply using dynamic trend lines at support and resistance is not reliable remember this anything which uses curve fitting the data the price action which has happened earlier we you know just adjust the our curves or lines on that data and we hope that it will also curve fit the chart it will also act as uh, something on the future uh, price action it's not reliable thing to do okay now next chart <clears throat> is uh, britannia on uh, five minutes time frame so here price was trending down for two days then stuck in a range for five days tried to move down of a range but again came back this is basically testing of the range and then starts trending down for two days more okay so now here if it's trending see in trending markets everything will work even if you use that oversold and overbought condition of macd or rsi even those things will start working okay but the problem comes when the market switches from trending to non trending and during non trending environment this is the time where you want to buy at the lows and sell at the highs okay normally what we do as a trader we say if market is falling then we take this part as a pullback and we expect price to go down but instead price goes sideways and forms a non trending range okay so basically in trending markets we trade the trend in trending markets we prefer to trade the trend whereas in non trending markets we should you play for mean reversions okay so trade the trend by you know pull back in this particular case i will say pull back to dynamic trend lines whereas in non trending trade your uh, strategy should be more on uh, mean reversions method okay but the question is again how to identify whether the trending market is trending or non trending before the chart develops okay so we will get to that eventually so okay <clears throat> in what time frame there is a question in one what time frame should one do curve fitting for intraday and positional uh, <coughs> for intraday we will be looking uh, in the you know towards uh, 
as it, it is a part of the webinar uh, positional ke liye, uh, see these techniques are not for positional we are not discussing positional today so uh, we will discuss positional in the group sometime uh, mean reversion uh, what is mean reversion so basically what happens let's let's assume this assume this moving average is your mean okay so this is your mean so what price does is you know if it starts moving away from the mean then it will attract you know it will move towards mean again go away from mean again go towards mean this is one possibility another possibility is let's say this is my uh, this is my mean and price is going away from mean so what happens this mean line try to catches the price and price eventually crosses the mean and uh, you know hovers around it basically like that like that so mean reversion is basically price you know crosses mean again and again and again whereas in trending phrase you won't see the price crossing your mean line here we are using uh, moving averages as a mean some people use uh, linear regression points as a mean which is another form of curve fitting only some people use uh, you know those uh, like uh, volume profile traders and uh, market profile traders uses poc as a mean so mean is a point basically where price comes again and again and again and hence the large number of trading happens at that point we will not go into those other uh, theories so okay here what i am doing is you can see this green mark and red mark this is your non-trending zone i am just zooming the chart out so that's that was your green mark and that was your red mark and i have just zoomed in the chart so if you see how the price is you know moving away coming back going down again coming back going up so these are the situations where if you use dynamic support and uh, dynamic trend lines like this this there are lots of fake outs are there In this kind of market like let's take an example where my price is making higher highs and higher lows right buying this pullback makes sense but what about this how will we know that pullback is over and price is expected to move up not form a new low here you will earn but what about at these points so that's why in uh, non-trending market in non-volatile phases uh, you will see lots of fake outs and these are the problems you have to tackle when you are designing a system the whole uh, methodology on which you are going to base your trades on okay so i'm just introducing you all the things now <clears throat> next uh, now we are moving towards moving average ka channel this thing was extensively researched by brain strain uh, it's a jack brain strain okay uh, you, he is uh, working on moving averages channel from last 20 to 25 years and uh, he has extensively you know worked on moving averages channel so according to his book which is uh, 30 days to market mastery that is uh, the book title this is the author's name in that book he has given a few uh, methods or you know his uh, observations 
how he is using this, what rules he is following, everything he has uh, mentioned in that book. So, <coughs> MAC stands for moving average channel is basically your moving average of highs and moving average of lows. Okay. And instead of traditionally famous moving average crossover system, if you notice moving average crossover is also MAC, whereas he is referring MAC to the channels, channels of a moving average drawn from high and moving average drawn from low. Now, according to him, this moving average channel is uh, has, you know, upper hand over moving average crossovers. Because this uh, method can determine your initial stop loss in a good way, also provides you a proper setup to enter and uh, confirmation tools like when you should trigger your trades and uh, you know confirmation uh, ideas. Then based on your SLs, based on the prices moving. Uh, you can also define your position size. Basically here he is talking about the strength of the trend. Uh, what does it mean is like if the strength is strong, then you can, you know, risk more money to earn more. But if the strength of the trend is not that good, like above average, then accordingly you should, you know, define your risk such that your position sizes like define risk your nominal uh, risk uh, should be defined and accordingly your position sizes changes and also in that sense he is using the exact procedure for uh, different position sizes then trail sl is again a very good thing uh, general idea whether to move will be large or small again same thing strength of trend is possible to define he has very distinct and specified forms or specified techniques to trail your asset where they will have less probability to get hit unless and until the trend reverses okay and this helps to catch the explosive moves and also predefined approach like some people have uh, like based on their trading style like some people are aggressive some people are conservative some people will buy breakouts some people will you know tend to enter at least after breakout so everyone has different risk tolerance so he has uh, you know explained everything for different group of peoples different group of traders okay so uh, these are the credits uh, book 30 days to market mastery from Jack Braston MSC ke liye, uh, research paper from uh, Valerie uh, Jack Mullin uh, various moving related approaches to so here I'm just giving credits to all these uh, great uh, researchers so okay <clears throat> now uh, the origin of this dynamic channel. Okay, Achha, uh, before I forget, let's uh, go back to this MAC. Uh, here, what he is using is he is using moving average, that is, your simple moving average on high of 10 period and um, yeah i think something like that only and low of six period this periods ka value of i might be i might not getting be right but he does not use the same periods okay uh, and also in the other uh, part of the book he started using emas as well so you can say either sma or ema of high and low with different uh, periods and based on that he defines a channel 
now obviously since the period is different the channel behavior will not be same sometimes channel will be expanding and sometimes channel will be contracting like this since the period is different okay so notice this one thing <clears throat> now from his you know that uh, paper which i'm i was talking about actually when i was uh, studying that paper i got an idea of dynamic channel a couple of months back so here uh, you know you can read this out most popular uh, trading indicators use equal weights or over weights okay and there is something called hand shape weighting functions which is under weighting both the most recent uh, price action and all stuff so basically idea is most people are you know using either equal weights that is simple sort of simple i'm not going into much detail what are these and technical stuff sometimes it is overweighting so r e m a okay what does exponential moving average do it gives a high weight to the recent price action and low weight to the previous price action so let's assume my price was moving up and now it is grinding down slowly before heading up so we have here now you can see the price is not moving much it is in a non volatile phase of the trend trend is still on but it is in the non volatile phase of the trend and in this we will assign high weightage to this sort of grinding move which will lead to overweighing you know the prices and this part will get low weights as per the structure of exponential moving averages the recent price action will get high weight and uh, the previous uh, will get the low weights so when the market was trending we are giving low weights that is your underweighting and uh, high it is your uh, overweighting so there is no balance between them hope uh, you understood this point if it's not clear how we are weighing it and all kindly feel free to ask the question uh, yeah so here is the pole line which you know forced me to think on the different uh, you know thoughts of line it all together so trading indicators basically vary only by the degree of overweight and underweight in most recent price action which i tried to explain here okay so in that scenario how or what we can do or like you know unless and until the future prices are uh, disclosed itself we will not be able to know whether the weight we had given was right and uh, if you know price action happens then there is no point in identifying those things because you will not be able to trade that thing hone ke baad pata chal ke kya fayda right so that's the thing which you know i was uh, like got my attention Okay, how can we handle this thing? So that's where the concept of dynamic channel came into my mind, based on the concept of dynamic trend lines which we use. Okay, so yeah, <clears throat> so here idea is we are trying to find proper period because exponentially exponential may okay let me go back to the formula once again okay just a second uh, yeah this is your exponential curve formula right here 
if you notice this lambda to the power j so if it's like current bar then it's zero if it is previous bar if it is minus two if it is you know minus three so this is your current bar previous bar previous to previous bar and all now when you say ema of close nine and another ema of close 20 so these weights will go on till 9 if the period is 9 or it will go on till 20 if the period is 20 okay so by changing the period we are adjusting our weights we are adding more data to our series and basically we are changing whole series all together just by changing the period this is the mathematical aspect uh, which we will be using okay so here what uh, we will, we are doing is you know by finding proper period for exponential weighted moving average that is nothing but your ema for a specific purpose in mind on a specific intraday time frame then we may get a balanced between over and under which all we need is a balance that's it okay so the idea is to find the proper period and again i'm just reminding uh few things which we had already discussed every chart has its own behavior every chart behaves differently with others as well as you know with itself few days back it was behaving differently now it is behaving differently so that is also we have to take into consideration so here are a few uh, things about uh, dynamic channel uh, dynamic channel basically helps in the level of volatility it handles it very well as well as the time of breakout the you know whenever the breakout was happening price uh, gets highly volatile it moves on both sides on intraday basis you know it hits your cell and then move in your direction that is the time i'm considering here okay and also helps to identify the fake outs the strongest enemy i would say uh for the intraday traders we normally stuck into fake outs and you know either our sl hits or either our trailing sl hits and uh, we won't be able to you know capitalize on our trade so that is the fake out fake out basically i'm referring fake out as false breakouts so here we will be using channel channel may we have two bands upper and lower we are using same period channel unlike jake branston who is using different trades you can test this concept by yourself you can do your own study and uh, you know explore the concepts in much detail that's why i have given you you know i'm i've shared everything from how and from where i'm getting those concepts so here now what we will be interesting is we will not be looking at you know too much far behind we will be focusing on last day price action only and that too with the help of dynamic trend line we will draw or we will identify a dynamic trend line for last day price action on five minute time frame or lower if you like you can even use one minute time frame in the end you will get you should get almost almost not exactly almost same behavior but you know five minute time frame it's makes more sense for intraday okay so <clears throat> again 
dynamic trend line in itself is not a foolproof concept it has to be you know associated with other various methods based on dynamic trend lines we will be forming our dynamic channel so again the some of the problems you know will migrate through this as well that's when we will add rsi and vwap to the mixture just only to increase more profit or like winning probabilities finding good opportunities avoiding bad ones you know confirmation tools basically so our final mixture will be for today's discussion is dynamic channel we will be using rsi we will be using vweb i am currently also testing macd with this in a different uh, way you can change uh, like once you understand how i am using rsi in this you can change to your particular indicator and vweb is also very important part it will directly show you whether your readings are like correct or not the way you are reading the chart is it is vweb supporting it or not okay so just a second guys okay so now <clears throat> so this is your example of you know just a sample example of ema channel that is your dynamic channel uh, i guess it's 55 period so this red line is your ema and remember uh, I am on CIPLA with 15 minutes time frame. The time frame is different. I'm just showing you the examples. The real benefits of a channel. So here I'm getting a value of 55. So I remember that's why I've written. We are using low for red one. Now this green one is your EMA high of same period and the white one obviously it is your ema of close 55 it's all they are all the same periods that's why it looks more like a parallel lines okay so okay so it's a um, more looks like a parallel line now if you observe this particular price behavior here this volatility period due to the channel it got handled very well okay let's say if you are monitoring this as a something like this and you took your entry unless and until price is above this channel and above the last swing low that is your channel and that is your last swing low you need not worry okay and eventually you will catch this trend even if price comes back down you can see the channel is handling that volatility very well you can also check this particular part where the reversal is happening you can see the price is below and it is reversing on the upside here also the price is above and it is moving downside during both the conditions if you notice the price you know while changing its trending phase it moves sideways for some time and spend most of the time within the channel itself here 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 right so 
like see the trend actually changed here we are using ems basically moving averages which are already inheritedly a lagging indicator so don't expect to you know catch this cell this short opportunity it's not possible using this method okay so here if you are aware of such behaviors you can you know look for cell look for rejection bias like this these are all possible scenarios you can trade with so this is just an example to demonstrate how the channel is working this is your long term because we are catching everything like it's one month of price action we are trying to cover this uh, using this, this channel on 15 minutes time frame for 15 minutes time frame one month obviously it's a long term okay so now <clears throat> now guys i'm getting some errors can you confirm if i'm audible and visible to you my screen is visible and i'm audible to you Okay, thank you. You know, this uh, software is giving some errors, so that's why. Anyways, so let's continue. Now, come to the main business. How do we, you know, identify, how do we, you know, approach our trades using dynamic trend line for intraday next day? So, what you need to do is suppose we want this is your ninth gen and we want to trade on 10th gen we have identified reliance for you know it's looking good to you for uh, tomorrow that is on 10th gen so what you will do you will identify an exponential moving average of close with a certain period this period such that it has a maximum touches in this particular example i have two touches okay so two or more then only it's valid if the price is you know keep on hugging the ems then it is uh, you know best thing like something like this if you get assume this is your uh, uh, dynamic uh, trend line like this so you can see the price is almost closely touching and moving along with moving average this is the best scenario you can look for okay so yeah so these two touches are there which we will be taking and we have selected this ema the dynamic trend line on last price action to be used as dynamic channel so now we have this trend line selected we have this period using this period you form a dynamic channel okay so let's see how the channel looks so these are the two points which we consider and that's your channel now here i have marked this could be place where you can go long and this could be place where you can go long or uh, short okay but remember or uh, notice carefully one thing i have written it potential long entry and potential short entry potential long maybe you can argue like the chart is ready the chart is in front of you so to say you know just to justify this point i can say anything like the price is making uh, higher lows and uh, higher highs so yeah it's a good to buy right even though even though completely ignoring the pullbacks the, these are the previous pullbacks and this is the pullback definitely it's strong compared to its history even this was the longest pullback but check out the speed with which it was moving and check out the speed with which price was moving still i can argue that uh, yeah my price is holding the ema and um, dynamic channel and we can go long okay 
it requires in the real time market it requires you know lots of girls to enter long here it's not that easy if the price is falling psychologically we will only be thinking to short the market you know on this particular day you will this is a pullback to sell that is also possible and eventually during the day price does come down so that's why i'm particularly using the word potential this could be your potential long entry trading alone based on dynamic channel means you are inviting you know your capital to you know get eroded your account will get vanished in no time so trading simply on dynamic channel is a big no you need your confirmations first that we are going to discuss okay so dynamic channel plus confirmation you can use any type of confirmation you are already using like some sort type of candlestick patterns you observe some kind of other indicators you follow and anything anything will do here i am sharing what confirmations i use as most of you all know that rsi and vwap are my bread and butters so yeah we will be using rsi and vwap only but i also use a uh, wyckoff along with this as you all know so everything mixed together when i see a trade i take it okay now now let's move on to you know let's halt this topic here itself the dynamic channel and intraday charts let's cover first our uh, rsi and uh, this uh, bear zones like for first rsi first understand what is rsi rsi will give you average gains over previous part simple terms may i'm not going into formulas and stuff the rsi will give you average gains okay so see let's consider you have taken a trade okay you have entered at 100 the price moved to 103 then comes back down to 101 then again moves to 104 so in this you were getting 3% plus in this move you were losing your little bit 2% then again you are getting 3% so at the end of the day you are earning how much 4% but how much price moved three up two down three up so what is this how much is that 8% that is your total movement upon average gains this will normalize your gains and keep them between 0 to 100 this is what rsi is all about nothing else okay so there is no point thinking 70 as overbought and uh, what 30 as oversold no big no okay so uh, here we are looking at particular aspect of uh, rsi that is zones i have already discussed this in the previous few uh, sessions webinars uh, sessions actually Uh, we will look. We will be looking at this in a detailed way today. So <clears throat> here it is. Yeah, I have you know taken just the scale where uh, all every ten points we have one line. I have this strong white line at fifty. Yeah. So just identify the zones how they are plotted. If forty and sixty. 40 and 60 it's your neutral zone and this is the point where you know price decides uh, whether to go in a trending phase or not if it is already in a non trending phase like if the price is in a non trending phase now and uh, you know in that area only where the gain is average people are losing half half people losing half people gaining 
half of equally okay in that scenario like uh, price decides so that's when you use neutral zone ka concept actually in real market this comes very you know like you are not able to trade this on real market as the chart is developing to be honest with you and then another one is bullish zone when my rsi is not ready to go below 40 and not able to sustain above 40 it can go above 80 but not able to sustain and comes back down and not ready to go below 40 it goes and comes back up that is fine it goes makes a low of 35 and comes back up it's fine it is not able to go as soon as it went immediately it bounced back right so if this thing is happening here it can go here it is not allowed to go even if it goes immediately bounces back if this sort of price behave this sort of rsi ka behavior you are getting at 40 and 80 ka levels then you are in a bullish zone do not short such markets which are in a bullish zone okay now another one is bearish zone same as bullish zone price can go below 20 could not sustain and comes back up and price is supposedly not supposedly to go above 60 if it goes immediately comes back down then you can say it's a bearish zone. Okay. And uh, if price is trading, you know, in this phase, when the price is below 20, or in this phase, when the price is above 80, that is the time I like to consider that my time frame. Suppose this is your five minutes chart. So that five minute time frame is invalidated. And that time I will simply switch on to higher time frame, maybe 15 minutes or 10 minutes, where my RSI is still within 2080 come major range. Okay, so as soon as my price crosses below 20 or above 80, I'll consider my current time frame is invalidated and I'll not, you know. If the time frame is invalidated, there is no point in analyzing the market. Okay, and uh, these zones, this RSI concept, you can use from one minute time frame to one quarterly time frame. Everywhere they'll work, only one condition. the all all candles or all bars should be of same time like if one bar is of like one candle is of 15 minutes then all the candles on the chart should be of 15 minutes okay then only this uh, period ka value will adjust okay what happens if we take one hour ka time frame? One hour ka time frame may the last candle of the day is of 15 minutes. So it is just taking a quarter part of the time into consideration as a whole unit, whole period. Out of this 14 period, my one bar, one candle, you know, it's just a quarter size now. So that's where your average gains will not be proper. And that's where, you know, some errors will start coming in, which will eventually get forwarded unless and until that, you know, this half candle is moved out of the last, you know, last 14 candles. Okay, now, now let's say your uh, rsi chart is like this assume this is your rsi chart if i want to shrink it down like this hmm, chota kar diya. Ya fair, i want to boost it up like this 
okay all i need to do is change the period don't know what people say about this that uh, moon have moon ka cycle is of 28 days so 14 days makes sense uh, any contract in the us market is on an average of is on an average for 28 days so they are taking half period of the contracts any those things i don't understand but people say about those all i understand is when the wilders was deciding this concept this particular indicator he observed the if we keep the period for 10 the my price behavior looks good on the chart it has some visual appeal that's why he kept on putting if you change the period okay if you increase it if you increase the period my rsi will you know start shifting lower and if you decrease the period my rsi will sharp shifting upwards and little bit of change in the uh, you know structure of the rsi but mainly as a whole it will remain unchanged so it does not matter what period you like to use you use 7 you use 14 you use 19 you take your date of birth as your period does not matter unless and until it looks good on the chart and it goes into invalidation less number of time okay now if price is not going into invalidation that is also bad it should go into invalidation sometimes few times if it is going into invalidation very often still it is bad it's no never went into invalidation that's bad if it is going too often that's also bad that is the time you need to change your periods accordingly okay so during the election period my rsi ka period if anyone noticed i was trading it at uh, trading that on 19 if anyone noticed that okay so that way you have to adjust this rsi ka thing so in and all that's bit advanced part but in and all on the base time frame invalidation bullish zone bearish zone these three concepts we widely use neutral zone ka concept not really useful in live markets on the high side when the chart is in front of you when the chart is developed then you can use it for analysis purpose but in real market this neutral zone ka thing is not that helpful because jab bhi price aayega to it has to go into this zone na like this only so you cannot say it's a neutral zone or it's a non trending zone based on the price behavior so that is one concept of rsi for you okay so let's move on that's rsi so let add this to the chart um if you have any questions kindly uh, you know ask the questions as soon as you have one we will not be giving time for q and a Q&A at the end of the webinar <clears throat> we will not have that time actually okay so that's your bearish zone that's your down trending market nice and steady rsi shifting up price is still going down but the speed slows okay then again this thing is your bull trap price bent up you know even above this last swing high and could not sustain or trying to sustain but failed 
and here you can see as the price was trading in a narrow range my rsi was drastically dropping like this so that was an early indication that you should not buy this on dips because the price is losing its gain very speedily so when you think rsi in terms of average gains then uh, it will make more sense if you mix that with price action here price is not moving much very narrow range but rsi is losing gain too fast that's an indication that if the you know underlying or inherited gains is getting lost so fast there is no point buying that pullback because the structure looks weak all right that is one case then here we have bearish zone downtrend again uptrend bullish zone okay now uh, from all of you i want one thing just keep observing this rsi ka structure in this side okay and i am now changing the side you will see a subtle difference have you noticed this is the current slide this was the previous slide this is the current slide this is the previous slide I normally tend to use this RSI, which is bit smooth. Okay, so this that is your smoothened RSI. Basically, what I do, I use exponential moving average on RSI function with the period of three. So what it does, you know, it removes those whipsaws in the RSI. see this kind of whip sauce are get smoothened out so that's why i tend to use smoothened rsi sometimes i also use that normal rsi as well depends not on the situation on my mood basically both are fine both will work on the same way it's up to you how you like to see it use anything which Mm, feels good to your eyes all right that is the one observation you see now we have added vwap to the price you can see since we are in a bearish zone my vwap is declining like this color coding of vwap if the vwap is falling okay then it has a red color and if my vwap is rising it has green color Now sloping down red, sloping high green. Okay. So here we are in a bearish zone. My VWAP is also sloping down. Again bearish zone, VWAP is sloping down. Now bullish zone, VWAP started sloping up. So zone. plus its confirmation as vwap and we are using zones like i I'll, i'll i'll show you whole structure all together you know one go say this we are using our dynamic channel first thing okay how do we select this dynamic channel or when to trade we will use divergence i will particularly show how these divergences are going to use we are going to use but that's not the part of the discussion we have selected some stock we will be monitoring this channel <coughs> now for its confirmation we are using zones of rsi and zones of rsi ka confirmation is your vwap and vwap changes every day 
zones will stay or will follow the price action whereas your dynamic channel may or may not change every day mostly it will change every day so your base and last secondary confirmation changes every day whereas your primary confirmation follows price action so as soon as price behaviors is change uh, pre price changes its behavior dynamic channel and bweb will be the first one to catch it and eventually the zone shift will occur in rsi <coughs> just give me a minute guys thank you so yeah there is a question a good one when a tf is invalid due to rsi when does it again becomes valid after re-entering above yeah as soon as it comes back within 2080 ka zone like you can start observing uh, the thing again even if you see like uh, let's let's take an example this is your line 20 and my rsi went down even if you see it is trying to go up then also you can consider or you can assume in advance that it will cross 20 because normally it will cross 20 and since it is way below 20 like way below your uh, 60 20 ka zone you will be looking on the bearish side only so there is no point thinking buy at this stage so yeah you can assume it in future and wait for your opportunity <clears throat> okay so that's your zones and uh, trends and uh, vweb and uh, now one more example uh, hindustan unilever on five minutes time frame we all know how hindustan unilever was trading sideways for few days and then jump back up okay so here it was grinding lower when my rsi was supposedly in a neutral zone okay this was supposedly considered as a neutral zone because the grinding price action was there but in the live market we will not be able to say that it will grind it may shoot down it may shoot up it's very much possible that's why neutral zone ka concept is not to be used in live markets okay then it went into a non-trending zone where my rsi again into neutral downtrend ke liye it tried again went to neutral like nt stands for non-trending again non-trending 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 right and then your move begins now here notice one thing i'll be drawing few rectangles that was your first non-trending car you can consider grinding co okay let me change the color this is your first that's your second both the times my rsi is not shifting then that's your third move here also if you notice my rsi ka size increased that's an indication that volatility is coming back into the script okay then gaps up and again into the range now in this range you can see my price my rsi is trading in this area so if you see as the price was moving down my gains like the values of rsi was maintained okay as the price started going up 
my gains also increased and if i would have been considering this as a range this whole thing as a big range then that's an indication that whenever price is going up my average gains are increasing means it is highly likely that it will break on the upside that is how you identify based on rsi that which side of the range price is expected to break okay this is one of the way it's like that <clears throat> like let's take another examples here we were on the upside oops sorry we were here okay i am starting my observation from this point then we were trading like this where my rsi was somewhere like this we went down again started trending here my rsi ka zone is like this what you see my price from here to here to here it is slowly moving down that the ranges it is forming okay this ranges this ranges are your intraday ranges huh? please keep that in mind we are on 5 minutes time frame and here what happens first move my gains went down but on the second move my again gain uh, started moving up then on the third move again my gain you know started moving up so that's an indication that if it is in a range on the higher time frame or if some resistance is there some trend line is there or anything is there it is supposed to break that okay so someone was asking earlier like in previous sessions that uh, how do we identify if the price is trading in a range how do we identify which side it is expected to break and see i am again and again highlighting expected 100% market mein kuch nahi hota agar kuch hota to main aaj world bank se loan leke mukesh ambani ka ghar khareed chuka hota it is expected to break as soon as it approaches this range you have to observe the price behavior whether it is gaining strength to break agar strength gain kar raha hai aggressive traders buy break out and conservative traders wait for pullback first pullback is retest and buy agar strength gain nahi kar raha hai look for a you know selling happening a selling pressure building in above this जो प्राइस को नीचे लेके आएगा एंड दिस विल बी बिकॉज दिस विल बिकम योर फॉल्स ब्रेकअप दिस इज वन वे टू ऑब्जर्व यूजिंग प्राइस बट उसको कंफर्मेशन के लिए यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज आर एस आई ओके आई यूज उल्टा आई यूज आर एस आई एज मेन टूल एंड वाइक ऑफ स्टडीज एज माई सेकेंडरी टूल फॉर कन्फर्मेशन whether the strength is coming in or strength is going out this is another utilization of rsi okay so now <clears throat> here now in this example we have one more uh, good uh, thing to observe <clears throat> we are in a not bearish we are in a bullish zones okay and uh, in bullish zone expectancy is price should trade above the vwap on this particular day my price was you know trading below the vwap and when it happens it is moving away like not behaving the way it is supposed to behave that time you will see the volatility is too much on the whole chart which is in front of you this part is the has the highest volatility 
price is moving up down up down up down whereas in most of the parts it formed a narrow range somewhere but here it is not ready to form the range and that is when we are in a bullish zone you can always risk it's it's definitely taking a risk of course to buy here and sell here last swing high pe buy karo last swing low pe like यहाँ पे यू बाय यहाँ पे यू सेल अगेन यहाँ पे यू बाय अगेन यहाँ पे यू सेल इफ यू फाइंड वन सच स्टॉक इन अ डे दिस स्टॉक कैन गिव यू थ्री टू फोर ट्रेड्स इन बोथ डायरेक्शन बट ऑब्वियसली इट विल नीड योर एक्सपर्टी इट विल टेक टाइम टू गेट यू नो मास्टर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट एंड इफ You can see यहाँ पे ये इसको होल्ड कर रहा है एंड इफ इट गेट्स फॉलो थ्रू ऑन द डाउन साइड एंड माई आर एस आई क्रॉसेस बी लो लाइक दिस दिस इज नॉट सपोजली ब्रेक यू नो सपोज टू ब्रेक ट्वेंटी बिकॉज इट्स अ बुल इज फोर्टी सॉरी नॉट ट्वेंटी फोर्टी बिकॉज इट्स अ बुल इज जोन इफ इट ब्रेक्स इट ऑल्सो ब्रेक्स दिस दैट इज द अर्ली ट्रेंड यू आर एबल टू कैच या फिर आपका स्टॉप लॉस बहुत छोटा हो जाएगा and you can take this positionally as well with the hope agar higher time frames obviously 15 minutes ya fir 1 hour ya fir daily uh, isko justify karta hai then you can take that trade as well agar is tarah se ye jata hai to okay <clears throat> so here is the same example this was your volatile day we were, we are talking about so yahan pe you know now see what uh, how i am observing this this what line as resistance and now acting as support so i have selected this particular line okay now see this wicks and all i am ignoring because there is much more candles which are facing resistance there are much more many candles which are facing resistance on this white line right here perfect resistance hai. so i selected this next day going into the market i see first rejection happening and it is bouncing at 40 now here 40 see i i'm giving you this uh, levels 40 50 60 okay these are your major support and resistance in rsi okay 70 and 30 these are your minor snr inka itna zyada importance nahi hai jitna inka importance hai so if you see here that's your 60 right that's your 70 line yahan pe ye snr liya minor hai okay नीचे आते समय इफ यू नोटिस यहाँ पे 60 पे इट इज टेकिंग रेजिस्टेंस नियर टू 60 नियर टू 50 इट इज ट्राइंग टू टेक सपोर्ट 70 राइट यू नो 60 के नीचे जाके सस्टेन नहीं कर पा रहे 40 से बाउंस हो रहा है 40 से बाउंस हो रहा है 50 पे रेजिस्टेंस 40 पे सपोर्ट 60 पे रेजिस्टेंस 50 पे सपोर्ट can you see how these levels are behaving okay but agar aap isko leke trade karne baitho definitely you will lose aapko kya dekhna hai okay my price is approaching my dynamic channel ye ek chhota sa yahan pe you can draw trend line let me change the color so that you all can see very clearly i can you know check this i am expecting channel to hold this is my expectation i am taking this how oh, that this line as a sub iske liye support uh, like a sort of pos line i would say price on one side it breaks out yahan pe that this is what i am expecting to so, wahan pe mera entry hoga aggressive conservative entry at the close of green bar okay so that's my channel ab main kya dekh raha hu channel ke paas jab ye aa raha hai it is getting rejected what about rsi rsi is also trying to bounce from 
So it's highly likely that uh, price is bounce. Which price bounce karega, tabhi that is your first target. That is last swing high, and that is your second target. You notice first target pe aaya, second target pe gaya hi nahi. And as an intraday traders. Uh, can uh, anybody confirm whether my audio is clear or not because someone is not getting an audio yeah shiva my audio is clear it's uh, problem is on the uh, on your side thank you thank you everyone right so that's why we remember one thing we all are retailer traders how many of you still to date buy here buy at this breakout because it is moving away from previous swing right whereas at the previous swings you are supposed to book your partial profits remember this पहली बार यहां से अगर एक बार ये यहां से नीचे गया है तो इट इज हाईली लाइकली दैट सेकेंड टाइम भी जा सकता है सो दैट्स व्हाई वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंट्राडे चार्ट्स नॉट ऑन द हायर टाइम फ्रेम चार्ट्स सो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज मैंडेटरी टू बुक पार्शियल प्रॉफिट्स एट द लास्ट स्विंग हाई ऑफ द टाइम फ्रेम यू आर ट्रेडिंग ऑन 25%, 50% book कर लो पुल बैक आएगा यू कैन ऑलवेज एंटर अगेन एंडलेस एंड एंटिल यू आर कॉन्फिडेंट ऑफ एक्सप्लोजिव मूव तब तक डोंट होल्ड योर पोजिशन बुक आधा प्रॉफिट या 25% परसेंट प्रॉफिट ऑन लास्ट स्विंग हाई रेड्यूस योर पोजिशन साइज बेसिकली ओके so that is it here uh, again nicely bouncing up from the channel that's your previous swing high okay abhi yahan pe bhi bahut logo ko confusion hoga so let me draw this that's my previous swing high price went and immediately got down jaise yahan pe hua hai okay and then price you know agar jaake aise hi seedha ja raha hai upar one way वन वे जा रहा है तो यू आर नॉट सपोज टू टेक दैट ब्रेकआउट बाय इंस्टेड प्राइस यहां पे आके रुक रहा है ऐसे और फिर ब्रेक कर रहा है इसको देन दैट इज द पॉइंट व्हेन यू आर सपोज टू टेक दैट ब्रेकआउट इस तरह का हॉल्ट होना चाहिए इफ इट इज गोइंग वन वे अप ये ब्रेकआउट कभी ट्रेड नहीं करने का एज अ रिटेलर बिकॉज If position goes against you, हम लोग उसको मैनेज नहीं कर सकते हैं हमको हमारा एसएल लेना ही पड़ेगा ओके लिमिटेड अकाउंट साइज ऑब्वियसली इज वन ऑफ द रीजन सो रिमेंबर कभी भी कोई प्रीवियस स्विंग हाई है लाइक ही दिस इज योर प्रीवियस स्विंग हाई लाइक ही दिस इज योर प्रीवियस स्विंग हाई You see, price is holding here and then breaks out. ये breakout लेना है, right? Here, this was your last swing high, and price is you know holding near and then breaking out, then breaking out. ये breakout लेना है, right? Now यहाँ पे, if now this is not a good example, but assume ये price ऐसे one way नीचे गया हो. इट इज गोइंग वन वे डाउन ये नहीं लेना है ये वाला नहीं लेना है राइट सो रिमेंबर दिस मार्केट प्रोफाइल एज यू ऑल नो मैंने लास्ट वीक डीन सर का कोर्स किया था मार्केट प्रोफाइल के लिए सो दिस मार्केट प्रोफाइल पीपल ये बाय डिफॉल्ट ये बिहेवियर को ऑब्जर्व करते ही है दैट इज व्हाट मार्केट प्रोफाइल इज यू नो वो उसको बहुत अच्छी तरीके से कैच करता है ये सब जो छोटे छोटे बिहेवियर्स है ना 
these all minor behaviors are already cached into market profiles but as a nahi karna hai market profile you still want to trade with the candles so you can use those concepts from different techniques okay actually ye original concept aata hai from ha jaane do isme nahi jaate now next stock selection this is one of the method right humne thodi der pehle discuss kiya tha actually actually i think i had a question on that as well uh, let me check somebody did ask a question on that yeah RSI is on twenty two questions one. When you say average gains, do you mean gain price or RSI average gains? RSI value will indirectly give you average gain in price. Okay. If you haven't read that John Hedden ka book, take out some time and at least uska first chapter just. स्टार्टिंग के फाइव टेन पेजेस है वो रीड करो प्लीज इफ यू आर गोइंग टू यूज आर एस एज योर इंडिकेटर टू दैट बुक डज दिस वर्क बेटर इन लोअर टाइम फ्रेम ऑल्सो इन स्लाइटली हायर टाइम फ्रेम वन आर फिफ्टीन मिनट पॉसिबल टू पिक एन एग्जाम्पल इन हायर टाइम फ्रेम सी आर एस आई का एवरीथिंग विल वर्क एज इट इज सपोज टू वर्क if all the candles are of same size okay agar koi candle chhota bada hai to wo chote bade ki wajah se jo error aayega that error may propagate into future actions so let's say if you are using one hour ka time frame you have to you know always keep in mind that uska last candle is incomplete to उसकी वजह से जो भी कैलकुलेशन गेन कैलकुलेशन में एरर आएगा दैट एरर मे प्रोपोकेट इन फ्यूचर ओके सो जस्ट दैट दैट और कुछ नहीं ओके सो नाउ दिस इज योर स्टॉक सिलेक्शन थिंग और कोई क्वेश्चन है क्या जस्ट अ मिनट आई नो सेवेंटी फाइव टाइम फ्रेम अवेलेबल नहीं आई गिव यू अर्क अराउंड जस्ट वेट मेरे टॉपिक तो कवर करने दो सो स्टॉक सिलेक्शन के लिए वी विल बी यूजिंग सेवेंटी फाइव मिनिट्स का टाइम फ्रेम ठीक है और एनी टाइम फ्रेम और एनी टाइम फ्रेम जिसमें एक हाफ कैंडल हो एग्जैक्ट हाफ कैंडल हो ओके लाइक लेस से मेरा सारा कैंडल्स थर्टी मिनट्स का है सो so, इसका लास्ट कैंडल विल बी ऑफ फिफ्टीन मिनट्स दिस यू कैन डू ओके so 75 minutes or 30 minutes all fine 30 minutes sabke paas hai uh i use 75 because uh isme kabhi bhi error nahi aata hai when we look at the divergences on rsi i never got any error perfect trading aata hai right but in sometimes you know jab bhi yahan pe half candle concept hum use karte hai for divergences uh and remember uh, this is just for stock selection you are not supposed to trade on that hum we are selecting stocks which has a high possibility of moving with the momentum the very next day right we want to select a stock which has a very high probability of having a good momentum move may be explosive on the very next day remember this so we are just using this for stock selection ye trading approach nahi hai 
दिस डाइवर्जेंसेस आर नॉट ट्रेडेबल जो मैं यहाँ पे डिस्कस करने वाला हूं इन सम टाइम ओके सुनो सो इन थर्टी मिनट्स व्हाट हैपेंस समटाइम्स अगर वो फिफ्टीन मिनट का कैंडल इज द लो और हाई ऑफ डाइवर्जेंस डाइवर्जेंस बनेगा तो वी विल हैव लोज एंड हाईस लोअर लोज हायर लोज एंड ऑल स्टफ अगर वो उसका पार्ट है तो दिस डाइवर्जेंस इज गेटिंग एक्टिवेटेड वहां पे थोड़ा हमको डाउट हो जाता है सो दैट्स वाई आई प्रेफर सेवेंटी फाइव मिनट्स बिकॉज इट्स अ कंप्लीट सो जस्ट सी आप यू स्टडी यू ऑब्जर्व यू विल बी एबल टू ट्रेड दिस इज नॉट दैट हार्ड इवन ऑन लाइक If you like, I can say 75 minutes or 30 minutes. 30 minutes पे अगर डाइवर्जेंस आपका वो 15 मिनट कैंडल पे आ रहा है तो थोड़ा सा कॉशियसली मिलेगा ट्रेड नहीं मिलेगा ऐसा नहीं है बट थोड़ा सा कॉशियसली एंड ऑन बॉट टाइम फ्रेम यू विल अप्लाई ई एम ए ऑफ टू हंड्रेड सिंपल कुछ नहीं दिस इज जस्ट योर रेफरेंस ओके न इंपॉर्टेंट कंडीशन इज जब भी प्राइस इज क्रॉसिंग ई एम ए क्रॉसिंग मीन्स प्रॉपर क्रॉसिंग एंड मूविंग ऑन द अदर साइड ओके या फिर फेल्ड आफ्टर क्रॉसिंग इमीडिएटली लाइक टच करके वापस आ गया सपोज दिस इज योर टू हंड्रेड प्राइस कैन गो लाइक दिस दैट इज ऑल्सो क्रॉसिंग प्राइस कैन गो लाइक दिस एंड इमीडिएटली रिवर्स दैट इज ऑल्सो क्रॉसिंग so all in all itna sab khichdi banane se acha hai we can say ke when my ema or uh, like my price and ema are very near to each other then you will look for divergences in short term and medium term i'll show what is mean by short term and what is mean by medium term but before that remember short term pe you are looking for rejection trades rejection trades means continuation of trend so basically ye rejection hota hai rejection of pullbacks and as name indicates complete reversal of trend okay now this one रिवर्सल के लिए या धिस वन जस्ट यू नो बी माइंड अगर रिवर्सल ट्रेंड है तो यू मे होल्ड योर ट्रेड फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम मे बी वन और टू डेज या फिर इट केम इन योर लिस्ट टूडे टूमोरो इट इज मूविंग एज एक्सपेक्टेड डे आफ्टर टूमोरो ऑल्सो यू ट्रैक वेदर इट इज मूविंग और नॉट डे आफ्टर नॉट लाइक यू कैन ट्रैक दैट पर्टिकुलर स्टॉक विच इज गिविंग यू रिवर्सल साइंस फॉर नेक्स्ट थ्री फोर डेज ये ट्रेड देगा रिवर्सल वाला मूव वेरी शार्प इनिशियली बिफोर फर्स्ट पुल बैक सो रिमेम्बर रिजेक्शन ट्रेड शॉर्ट टर्म पे है विच इज बेसिकली रिजेक्शन ऑफ पुल बैक सो प्राइस जा रहा था दिस वॉज पुल बैक रिजेक्शन एंड प्राइस अगेन स्टार्टेड नो कंटिन्यूंग इट्स ट्रेंड वेयर एज रिवर्सल इज प्राइस वॉज गोइंग डाउन इट डेड दिस एंड रिवर्स ओके एंड डाइवर्जेंस नहीं है नो डाइवर्जेंस भी तुम्हारा सिग्नल है एज अ कंटिन्यूएशन ट्रेड सो वेन एवर प्राइस इज नियर टू ई एम ए दो ही पॉसिबिलिटीज है इधर यू विल गेट योर डाइवर्जेंस योर यू विल नॉट गेट योर डाइवर्जेंस डाइवर्जेंस मिलता है तो भी सिग्नल है डाइवर्जेंस नहीं मिलता है तो भी सिग्नल है ओके बट आई वुड सजेस्ट के डाइवर्जेंस मिले तो ही करो सी दिस इज जस्ट स्टॉक सिलेक्शन You select 10 stocks, उसमें से आठ स्टॉक फेल हो जाए आपका पैसा नहीं जाएगा बिकॉज यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू ट्रेड इट आपका बाकी चीजें आपको बचा लेगी वहां पर सो हियर इज योर चार्ट वी आर ऑन एस बी आई एन ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव मिनिट्स टाइम फ्रेम सो दैट इज योर मूविंग एवरेज एक्सपोनशियल Now, if you see at this stage, 
my price is crossing this right so i got a divergences okay uh, there are four types of divergences higher high ke liye higher low ke liye lower high ke liye lower low ke liye if anyone not aware of those four uh, do let me know main share kar deta hu if everyone knows we will save some time aur aage badhte hain so if anyone does not know four types of divergences uh, do let me know that is bullish bearish hidden bullish hidden bearish wo wala char so here we have price is making higher high and indicator is making lower low uh, higher low so it's a divergence right aur ye divergence kaun sa hai so see abhi kya hoga here you see and here you see this is like two moves ke beech mein hua hai so this is your long term divergence ya medium term you can say aisa hi agar teen char peaks mein ho raha hai like aisa continuously ho raha hai so this becomes your long term divergence immediate two peaks mein hai that's your medium term or within one peak itself that is your short term this is your short term divergence okay so from the last side short term and medium term divergences hope you all now understand short this is your medium term which happens on different peaks long term bahut sara peaks aur ye aapko 75 minutes pe to kabhi nahi dikhega for short <coughs> okay and uh, मीडियम टर्म या शॉर्ट टर्म शॉर्ट टर्म सेम पिक पे डाइवर्जन बिहेवियर दिखेगा एंड मीडियम टर्म पे यू विल हैव डिफरेंट पिक्स सो हियर ये मीडियम टर्म है सो यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग अ रिवर्सल एंड सी द मूव राइट यहां पे वी हैव नो डाइवर्जेंस है सी माय प्राइस इज क्रॉसिंग ईएमए and we have no divergence so expected a uh, you know continuation of the move you yahan pe cross karke upar gaya to it is supposedly not rejected that way and uh, yahan pe we have this again price approaching the ema and we again have price is moving lower whereas rsi started moving up So, ये फिर से ऊपर जाने का एक बार ट्राई करेगा देर इज अ मिस्टेक दिस शुड बी योर रिजेक्शन बोथ टाइप ऑफ हुआ है वहां पे सो यहां पे यू कैन लुक फॉर अ रिजेक्शन ट्रेड ऑल्सो यहां पे सेम चीज प्राइस इज मूविंग लोअर आर एस आई इज मूविंग हायर सो दैट्स योर रिजेक्शन ट्रेड एंड ये सेवेंटी फाइव मिनिट्स पे इसी तरह दिखेगा but 35 min 30 minutes pe you have to look okay now uh if you observe like uh, maybe koi ek example like this okay yahan pe price is slightly moving higher whereas my rsi is getting lower can you see this approximately ये टाइप के डाइवर्जेंसेस हमको नहीं देखने हैं रिमेंबर आई विल ओनली लुक फॉर डाइवर्जेंसेस व्हेन माय प्राइस एंड ईएमए आर क्रॉसिंग ईच अदर और नियर टू ईच अदर ओके ये वाला जो हमने देखा दिस वन यहाँ पे जो देखा दिस इज फार अवे फ्रॉम ईएमए सो ये वाला यूज नहीं करना है okay so this is simple technique to and uh, if you use uh, 75 minutes i think you will get 5 candles per day only right so if you want to increase your uh, you know opportunity finding abilities you can make a scanner take your ema c200 
इसको प्लस माइनस वन परसेंट और हाफ परसेंट का रेक रेंज बना लो एंड इफ डेज क्लोज इज नियर इज विद इन दिस रेंज स्कैनर में लेके आ जाओ एंड फिर चार्ट पे मैन्युअली चेक कर लो बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टॉक्स विल नॉट बी इन दैट रेंज ओके ना अब ये दिखने को बहुत इजी है राइट बट जब ये चार्ट बन रहा होगा ना तभी यू विल सी समथिंग लाइक दिस ऑब्जर्व दिस नुएंसेस ऑब्जर्व दिस प्राइस इज मेकिंग हायर हाई क्रॉसिंग एंड हायर हाई वेयर एज हियर इट इज मेकिंग लोअर लो सो एक्सपेक्टेड क्या है इट शुड क्रॉस बिलो जैसे यहां पे हुआ वैसा ही यहां पे भी होना चाहिए राइट प्राइस वॉज मेकिंग हायर हाई आर एस आई वॉज मेकिंग लोअर लो प्राइस इज मेकिंग हायर हाई आर एस आई इज मेकिंग लोअर लो जब चार्ट कंप्लीट नहीं है तब की बात कर रहा हूं सपोज यू डोंट हैव दिस मच डेटा इन ये सब तुमको नहीं पता ना अभी मेरे लिए तो ये हायर हाई है ना एंड दिस इज माई हायर लो वॉट हायर लो लोअर हाई सॉरी राइट ये वाइट वाइट कलर के है रोस्ट तो यहाँ पे तो यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ मूव एंड दिस इज वेन योर डायनेमिक चैनल आर एस एन वी वेब विल टेल यू कि ये स्ट्रॉन्ग ट्रेंड मूव है यहाँ पे सेल बनता ही नहीं है राइट सो यहाँ पे मे बी यू मिस अ सिंगल डे बट वेन यू सी द आर एस आई इज कमिंग बैक अप देन आप यहाँ पे ये कैश तो कर सकते हो दिस इज जस्ट फाइव कैंडल पर डे हाँ ये बहुत ज्यादा कैंडल्स है इट्स लाइक यू सी दिस मूव इट्स ऑलमोस्ट टेन प्लस डेज राइट सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द वे और सेकेंडली यहाँ के जो ये नुएंसेस है ये जो लाइक ट्रैप लाइक कंफ्यूजिंग पार्ट है इसका This confusing part, जहां पे यू विल गेट ट्रबल्ड ओके इसको हैंडल करने के लिए यू हैव दैट डायनेमिक चैनल सो दिस होल स्टॉक सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस विच वी डिस्कस्ड ये बेसिकली इसके लिए ही डिजाइंड है ओके okay? और किसी पे काम करेगा नहीं करेगा मैंने टेस्ट नहीं किया है and when you are testing do not put real money onto this okay and ye jo main abhi dynamic channel ka share kiya hai even i am not actually putting my real money onto it i'm just sharing this because uh, it is actually working and i may start putting my real uh, taking real trades on this maybe इन आफ्टर जाने वाली एक्सपायरी ओके सो फर्स्ट अलॉन्ग यू नो अलॉन्ग विथ मी हम सब मिलके पहले 15 डेज वी विल मॉनिटर वी विल ट्रेन आवर सेल्फ टू मास्टर दिस एंड देन वी विल यू नो गो गो एंड ट्रेड दिस थिंग्स एंड इवेंचुअली नाउ यू आर सीइंग के किस तरह से चैनल एंड ऑल रिजेक्शंस एंड ऑल मल्टी टाइम फ्रेम्स आर फिटिंग अप ऑल टुगेदर वंस देयर इज वन मोर की थिंग व्हिच आई एम नॉट शेयरिंग राइट नाउ बट इफ यू स्टार्ट ऑब्जर्विंग दिस यू विल आइडेंटिफाई दैट दिस कैन बी पुट टू अ सिस्टम हम इसको कोड करके ऑटोमेट कर सकते हैं इवन दो आई एम कंप्लीटली अगेंस्ट इट बट या कर सकते हैं वेरी मच पॉसिबल सो दैट इन कमिंग मंथ्स मे बी दो तीन हफ्ते दो तीन महीने के बाद में कहीं तो जब वेन आई एम रेडी विथ एवरी थिंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट यू विथ द रिजल्ट तभी हम इसका एक सिस्टम का भी करेंगे एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पे प्राइस नो डाइवर्जेंस कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ ट्रेंड अगेन रिजेक्शन फ्रॉम 200 ईएमए एंड इफ यू नोटिस यहाँ पे भी यू हैव नो डाइवर्जेंस सो व्हाट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इज प्राइस टू गो डाउन बट दिस इज योर डायनेमिक ट्रेंड लाइन सपोर्ट दे दिया 
हायर लो बन गया ओके सो या डाइवर्जेंस रिजेक्शन डाइवर्जेंस रिजेक्शन ये सब शॉर्ट टर्म डाइवर्जेंसेस है सारे के सारे ये चार्ट पे शॉर्ट टर्म डाइवर्जेंसेस है ऑन एक्सिस बैंक Now, if you start observing such kind of things on this time frame, seventy-five ka time frame, not advisable. Yahan pe it worked, but everywhere will it work? Very much doubtful. Okay, this time frame is not for that basically, seventy-five minutes. Now, yahan pe price is making higher high, yahan pe lower low, and you are seeing price is moving down, and then ये रिवर्स कर रहा है यहां से राइट सो व्हाट डू यू एक्सपेक्ट यहां से यू वांट अ रिजेक्शन सॉरी यहां से यू वांट अ रिजेक्शन ऑन डाउन साइड बट इन स्टेट प्राइस गेट अ रिजेक्शन ऑन योर ईएमए एंड मूव्स अप राइट सो ऐसा कुछ होने वाला है दिस कंफ्यूजिंग स्टेट राइट इसको एक तो इंट्रा डे के लिए डायनामिक चैनल आपको काफी हद तक बचा लेगा तो वहां पे डाउट नहीं है बट यू नो वाइल ऑब्जर्विंग वाई टू वेस्ट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी इन सिलेक्टिंग अ बैड स्टॉक इफ यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग प्राइस टू गो डाउन ओके ये देखना हायर लो बनना नहीं चाहिए सॉरी लाइक इतना कंसिस्टेंटली बनना नहीं चाहिए एंड साथ ही में यू डोंट हैव दिस लोअर हाइस अगर है तो डोंट ट्रेड दिस इन स्टेड ट्रेड योर ट्रैंगल ब्रेकआउट का कॉन्सेप्ट राइट सो वहां पे यू कैन सी दिस माइनर स्विंग पॉइंट्स टू गेट अ बेटर व्यू ऑफ दिस थिंग ओके वेन एवर यू सी समथिंग एल्स लाइक हमारे हिसाब से नहीं चल रहा है वहां पे आप कोई और कॉन्सेप्ट से यू ट्रेड तो कंफ्यूजन थोड़ा कम रहेगा इंट्राडे में तो डेफिनेटली डायनामिक चैनल विल हेल्प यू ना दिस ये हमने डिस्कस कर लिया है ऑलरेडी दिस डाइवर्जेंस इज वे अवे फ्रॉम मूविंग एवरेज हमको चाहिए प्राइस जब मूविंग एवरेज को क्रॉस कर रहा हो that you see a divergence like here this point and this point yeah you can take that thing into consideration because you moving average ke pass mein hai but this thing is far away from moving average isko trade nahi karna hai okay so yeah that's that yahan pe see this price is going lower rsi is going higher expectancy is price to go down break hua right so this divergence is also there but ye hamare concepts ke hisab se ye time frame ye method ke liye nahi hai so that's that you can observe now let's take some questions how to take confirmation on the last candle does it need to form a new type on rsi uh, kushal ji i did not got your question are you talking about 30 minute wala time frame in this case dynamic trend line should be confirmed in see yahan pe 200 is a reference line which sometimes may act as dynamic sometimes not every time इधर क्या हुआ एग्जांपल सी हियर इन दिस एग्जांपल इफ यू नोटिस इट इज वेरी मच एक्टिंग एज अ डायनामिक लाइन के जैसा राइट इन दिस एग्जांपल इट इज एक्टिंग हर जगह पे काम करेगा ऐसा नहीं है सी हियर इट इज नॉट वर्किंग लाइक अ डायनामिक अगर डायनामिक होता इट शुड हैव गॉन लाइक दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन सिचुएशन टू सिचुएशन Yeah. So yeah, that's it for uh, from my side. 
actually it's already two hours i wanted to go and see at some real charts but uh, maybe some other day uh, what afl manoj ji so yeah let's check before final checklist let's uh, you know revise the whole thing every night one day before you trade on 75 minutes time frame you will you know select your stocks to trade okay let's select your stocks to trade now how many stocks you can trade it depends on you abhi see whenever you select this kind of stocks here momentum move is highly expected okay so let's say you selected uh, eight to nine stocks you are looking at other two three stocks and baki kahin stock pe moment ho gaya so dukh hoga it will be very you know sad feeling hoga ki yeah i was at the right place but not at the right time so to avoid that you know like my capacity is like three stocks max to max plus one index i can track this many only if i want to select stocks i'll select three stocks okay so that's your first step now this you are doing at eod one night before now what you will do you will go open chart on 5 minutes try to find out a dynamic trend line for last day matlab abhi eod hai to last day hi ho gaya na okay and then you will convert it to channel okay this much you will do on uh this thing also uh which zone price is in on rsi matlab aapko kaun se side ka trade lena hai ye define kar dega so your bias will get defined b i a your bias will be defined whether you want to go in a long trade or you want to go for a short trade also stock selection mein bhi ek bias hai 5 minute time frame pe bhi ek bias hai if they are conflicting each other wait then trade if they are you know sath mein hai look for opportunity to trade okay then during live market your channel is ready your bias is ready now all you are waiting for is opportunity to trade in your direction with the help of channel or any other thing so sab kuch hum log eod karenge and live market mein you know just keep on monitoring जितने भी आपका कैपेसिटी है उतने सोर्स आई विल बी कीप शेयरिंग एग्जांपल्स व्हेन एंड आई स्पॉट इफ यू रिमेंबर अ फ्यू डेज बैक मैंने एक्सिस बैंक का एक रिवर्सल फाइंड आउट किया था एंड फ्रॉम सेवन सिक्सटीन टू सेवन फोर्टी फोर इट वेंट एंड आई नोटिफाइड बोर्ड द टाइम्स so uh, you can say ke partially wo yahi sabse aaya tha there were also readings i was using wyckoff and i saw that buyers are coming in and the strength sign of sign of strength are visible so yeah that's also there wahan pe confidence aa gaya but yeah ye sab cheeze bhi thi kahin na kahin i was monitoring that as well Yeah. So these are the steps you have to follow. 
uh, maybe on one Wednesday's uh, weekly session, we will do stock selection for Thursday, that is expiry day, based on this only. Okay. So you will get a better idea how to do it. Because otherwise, if we start looking at the real charts or a ghanta jayega, and I don't want to take that much of your time. So let's quickly go to our final checklist before placing your trades. This thing, this final checklist is not for just this method. It's universal and henceforth in every webinar you will get to see this from my side. Sabse pehla, you should have a proper reason and direction of selected stock. Here direction, I mean bias. You should have a proper bias where you which direction you want to trade. Okay. Then your trading time frame. In our case, in this case, five minutes is our trading time frame and 75 minutes are in is our higher time frame okay so inka bias same direction may have your conflicting head that we must be aware of always remember uh, move starts on lowest i'm not writing lower i'm writing lowest time frame and ends on higher time frame by the time you see it on daily and weekly already wo khatam hone ke kagar pe aa chuka hoga it's it, it it's ready for pullback okay so that's why trading time frame pe humko zyada aggressive zyada ye hona hota hai whereas while monitoring htf no room for errors <clears throat> then कोई भी प्राइस का कोई भी स्टॉक का वॉइस एंड वॉल्यूम एक्टिविटी ये मॉनिटर करना है बिकॉज इफ एनी न्यूज कम्स इंट्रा डे वॉल्यूम विल बी द फर्स्ट थिंग विच विल टेल यू समथिंग इज नॉट राइट हाई वॉल्यूम हाई प्राइस बिहेवियर कोई न्यूज आया चुपचाप ट्रेड क्लोज कर दो या स्टार्ट मैनेजिंग इट वेल इफ इट इज गोइंग इन योर डायरेक्शन okay then again you should have proper risks defined yahan pe risks defined matlab 10% of capital on a single trade because my broker broker gave me 50 times of leverage if you don't know what you are doing itna paisa one week bhi nahi chalega so you should always know your risks not in trading kitna ek per, per trade kitna paisa jayega not in that sense okay here i am talking about kitna risk mujhe lena hai based on my capital mera accuracy mera confidence whether i have a faith on my setup or i am testing a setup ya kisi ne bola aur maine haath dal diya did i back tested it manually kitna time back test kiya kitne cycles ghume based on that based on that confidence you have to define kitna percent of capital trade karna hai because your broker is giving you high leverage it does not mean you trade large okay you should know what you are doing then only you can trade large then <clears throat> keeping your stop loss value at your stop loss is risky suppose i am trading i want to you know go long at 100 and i defined my stop loss as 98.75 this is my defined value keeping stop loss at sl is bad you will always keep your stop loss way below that sl and jaise hi price isko cross karega you will close your trade yahan tak aane nahi doge right suppose ye 100 pe you went long your sl is 798.75 that is 1.25 rupees ka sl liya but system mein aap ye sl nahi daloge you will keep this sl in your system which is some points lower than that i am not talking about ticks i am talking about points rupees mein okay बट जैसे ही प्राइस आपके एसएल को क्रॉस कर रहा है ओरिजिनल एसएल को काट लो ट्रेड ओके यहां तक प्राइस आने का वेट मत करो 
सो दैट्स व्हाट इट मीन कीपिंग एस एल एट एस एल इज रिस्की स्टॉप हंड सबको पता है क्या होता है ना लास्ट विंग पॉइंट पे हमारे टाइम फ्रेम पे कंपल्सरी टू बुक पार्शियल प्रॉफिट इससे दो चीजें होगी आपका जो पोजीशन पे रिक्स लगा हुआ है दैट गेट मिनिमाइज योर बाई एवरेज जो है वो बढ़ जाएगा बिकॉज जो पार्शियल बुकिंग हुआ उसका प्रॉफिट ऐड हो जाएगा ओके पोजीशन साइज कम हो रही है तो रिक्स कम हो रहा है प्लस आपका बाई एवरेज ऊपर आ रहा है प्लस आपका एस ट्रेल के लिए इजी होगा एंड इफ यू स्टिल सी दैट प्राइस इज स्टिल मूविंग इन योर डायरेक्शन लाइक दिस ऑन अ प्रॉपर पुल बैक यू कैन स्केल इन सपोज आई हैव टेकन माय पोजीशन साइज एज हंड्रेड लास्ट विंग पे मैंने फिफ्टी परसेंट या ट्वेंटी फाइव लेस्ट अज्यूम ट्वेंटी फाइव निकाल दिया आई बुक ट्वेंटी फाइव तो अभी मेरा पोजिशन साइज है सेवेंटी फाइव यहाँ पे मेरे को अपॉर्चुनिटी मिल रहा है आई कैन गो लॉन्ग I can scale in double of what I book with very tight stop loss. So if stop loss hit, I should not lose what I booked. Okay. Or if it fell down, so I'll earn more. So compulsorily always book partial profits at the last swing points of your trading time frame. Unless and until you see a strong bar like this, which is crossing your last swing point, and no rejection immediately. If it is going like this, it is taking you to your price. Then why should you book? But if it is going like this, book. Okay. Yes. 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 No place in financial markets. Don't get emotional if your trades works out or if your trades does not work out. If you see it, trade it. If you don't see it, stick to your opinion. Somebody else is seeing what you are not seeing. Don't go. किसी और का दिमाग किसी और का पैसा profit उसका loss उसका आपको ठेंगा मिलेगा. Okay. So that's it from my side. Uh, we are already 15 minutes up, so I want do wanted to take some examples as well, but time limit here. Actually, I have to go somewhere, so that's the problem. So I hope Bharat uh, ji ka doubt clear ho gaya. In this method, there will be no dynamic channel. Sir, your regular efforts on which you would want any, you want anybody any local to use. No, Manoj, I have never uh, said anything like that. That you, I want everyone to use that AFL only. But uh, the AFLs, if you are talking about the basic charts, which I am using, it is already shared in Ami Broker underscore tutorial channel. You can go and have a look over there. If trying this in the community, suggest it's automatic. Yeah, that reference will remain same. EMA two uh, hundred will remain same. Even like uh, if you want, you can use both time frame seventy five as well as thirty together. Stock selection he has. Trade lena hai, nahi lena hai. Wo humko dynamic channel batane wale. In FNO, we have around 140 plus stocks. Which means I want to select two, three stocks, right? So if I'm not able to find good stocks, then only I'll move to the other time frame. Now, remember, 75 minutes ke time frame pe apko jaldi stocks nahi milega divergence pe. One stock will give you divergence on 75 minutes every, you know, four to five days. Not so soon. So sometimes 30 minutes is also fine. Try it out. But remember, 30 minutes का जो divergence के points है, उसमें last candle is your current low. Be cautious. You can select that, but be cautious. Which is the background image? अरे कोई तो पुराना बना के रखा है. I'm using that only. 
yeah dynamic channel ka fl i'll share i'll quickly show you how you can use that uh, just let me exit the show and close this site and uh, ये क्या आ रहा है जस्ट सेकेंड सो सी दिस इज योर चार्ट लेस से on uh, 75 minutes this is my uh, 200 ka default aa gaya and abhi to yahan pe koi trade nahi hai let's let's find one example let's take all fno jcc dur hai see this is near no See, अभी ये वाला बहुत पास में है राइट विच इज अदानी पावर्स सो मे बी इन वन और टू डेज ये कुछ करेगा सो दैट टाइम आई हैव यू नो सम समथिंग इधर डाइवर्जेंस और नो डाइवर्जेंस और कुछ तो मिलेगा दिस इज जस्ट वन पॉइंट अभी वेट करो सो दिस अदानी पावर हम थोड़ा एक दो दिन सिलेक्शन के लिए नजर में रखेंगे यहाँ पे वी हैव नो डाइवर्जेंस टिल नाउ अपोलो टायर्स में ओके तो लेट्स अज्यूम मैंने ये सिलेक्ट किया ओके सिलेक्ट किया तो फाइव मिनट टाइम फ्रेम पे जाऊंगा दिस वॉज द डे जहां पे मैंने इसको सिलेक्ट किया टेंथ ऑफ जैन को इलेवन ट्वेल्व छुट्टी है थर्टींथ ऑफ जैन को आई एम गोइंग टू ट्रेड इट ओके सो मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ यहाँ पे आई विल गो एंड गो टू दिस सिंगल ई एम ए चैनल वाला थिंग है इसको यस yes करेंगे तो सिंगल लाइन आ जाएगा इफ यू क्लिक दैट वो चैनल में कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा सो इजी जस्ट एक क्लिक करना है ओके सो नाउ ये करेंगे देन ये जो पीरियड दिख रहा है पीरियड में वी विल क्लिक इफ यू क्लिक ऑन द नंबर वो नंबर ऑटोमेटिक आपको एडिटेबल फॉर्म में आएगा दैट नंबर विल कम इन एडिटेबल फॉर्म में If you click on this side, you know, uske right side pe, you will get that scale. Just by scrolling your mouse, you can adjust this line like that. Can you see on the chart? Like that, you can do. Okay. So what we want to do is, this is our last trading day. We want to find a suitable dynamic trend line. So what I see is like. This minimum slowly, slowly बढ़ाते जा, increase it slowly, slowly and find at what point you look it, you know you feel it's look good. Just a feeling होना चाहिए बस. See, I can take this, okay, just to show show you. तो मैं बोल सकता हूं धिस 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 अप्रोक्सीमेटली राइट बट ये आपका बहुत लॉन्ग टर्म हो गया आई वॉन्ट समथिंग लाइक विच टू टच माई लास्ट डेज प्राइज एक्शन नॉट पिछले हफ्ते का प्राइज एक्शन ओके सो दैट्स वन थिंग टू रिमेम्बर सो इफ आई टेक धिस लो ये सिर्फ एक ही जगह पे जा रहा है आई वॉन्ट टू और मोर तो हाउ विल आई एडजस्ट दिस दिस लुक्स गुड बट अगेन लास्ट कैंडल है तो आई नॉट रिलाय ऑन दैट मे बी दिस लुक्स गुड टू मी वन यहां पे प्रीवियस टू प्रीवियस डे लाइक लास्ट डे के पहले का एक दिन आज का दिन एंड यहाँ पे इट इज डूइंग विप सॉस होल्डिंग एंड क्लोजिंग के टाइम पे वहीं पे है सो आई सिलेक्ट दिस आई एम 
इन माय व्यू इट्स लुक गुड एंड बस नेक्स्ट डे के लिए आई एम रेडी अभी वेयर आई वांट टू बाय और वेदर आई वांट टू सेल हाउ डू आई डिफाइन सो सी व्हेन यू सी योर आरएसआई क्रॉसिंग 60 लाइक दिस एंड सस्टेन ओके तो वो जो 50 पॉइंट है ना जहां से उसने क्रॉस किया है दैट इज योर स्टार्ट ऑफ द जोन तो दिस विल बी माय जोन दिस विल बी माय जोन लाइक दैट तो आई एम इन अ बुलिश जोन सो आई डोंट वांट प्राइस टू गो बिलो दिस एंड अगर इफ प्राइस इज गोइंग बिलो दैट आई वांट माय आरएसआई टू गो डाउन एज वेल like here it happened it was a bullish as the price went down my rsi also went down right and as soon as price starts recovering and coming back up above the channel trade mein ho aisa lagaya nahi hai exit immediately yeah and also you will have pvap in your hand like that that's your web in your hand okay again secondly aapko <clears throat> see there are this is just one example you will get so many stocks now you are seeing that yeah some people might feel that are ye wala this this things is not okay ye nahi chahiye humko aisa humko proper clean touch chahiye like this fine ignore that to so start out dhoondo okay this is stock ondo there will be so many see this is also near to vwap abhi ye kya kar raha hai we don't know yet barabar so let's go on to 5 minutes and check ye kya kar raha hai so it is moving see here if i do this तो ये बराबर फिट हो रहा है कैन यू सी दिस अरे लाइक दिस राइट अर्लियर वाज एक्टिंग एज अ सपोर्ट सपोर्ट एंड देन टर्न्ड इनटू अ रेजिस्टेंस एट 53 नॉर्मली आई हैव अ हैबिट टू कीप इट एट यू नो मल्टीपल ऑफ 5 का थिंग जस्ट ऐसे ही कुछ रीजन नहीं है उसके पीछे you can keep 53 as well it's fine I'll just turn on the channel turn on the view app and next day kya karna hai humko you are already observing rsi around 40 so all you want is a pullback to fail and you will look for sell okay but agar pullback aata hai and it goes like this then that's your you know position ko reverse kar do and you will go for buy and based on this all channel channel ke upar hi buy karna hai channel ke niche hi sell karna hai ye wala sell nahi based not on this method okay ye wala buy nahi ye wala sell yes channel breakdown sell hai okay sometimes you can take early entry Like यहाँ पे you can take sell and assume that channel will break. It's likely ना अभी यहाँ पे नहीं है situation. This is not a good example to show, but just to demonstrate. Once the channel breaks, you will know you are in a good side. Okay. And also now अभी यहाँ पे this type of confusions people have. See, we entered below 40 here, so this is the last point where it crossed 50. So I'll draw my zone like this. Above, so ये वाला हो गया till that point. Oops. ये वाला हो गया till that point. Okay, and then यहाँ पे अभी we are not sure. whether it will hold 
और इट विल ब्रेक बिकॉज ये एग्जैक्टली exactly 40 पे आके ही रुका हुआ है सो so, यहाँ पे बायस कौन से साइड है प्राइस इज ट्रेडिंग बिलो वी वेब इज बिलो मूविंग चैनल वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग इट टू बी अ बेर जोन और अगर ये बुल जोन है तो इट हैज टू गो एंड क्रॉस अब सिक्सटी एज वेल एज चैनल भी ना राइट सो यहाँ पे माय ट्रेडिंग प्लान इंडिविजुअली माय ट्रेडिंग प्लान विल बी यू नो टू सेल ऑन राइस एट चैनल सेल ऑन राइस एट दिस चैनल यहाँ पे कहीं पे आई लाइक टू सेल स्टॉप लॉस समवेयर में भी एक पीओएस बना के समथिंग लाइक दैट उसके ऊपर पीओएस के ऊपर में भी समवेयर ओके सो दैट्स एन वन एग्जांपल और भी एग्जांपल्स आई कीप शेयरिंग विद इन द ग्रुप सो या दैट्स दैट आई विल शेयर दिस एफएल जिसमें चैनल का है दिस दिस थिंग्स आर देयर so anyways if you have any question uh, get it cleared otherwise we'll see you on wednesday weekly stock selection mein on youtube and if anybody wants i can also share that research paper kisi ko agar if anybody acha i'll share uh, in the group jisko chahiye wo dekh le at least Yeah, I'll share. I'll share. So, okay, guys. Uh, one uh, last thing. Just uh, give me a minute. कहा है पीडीएफ कैन यू गाइस सी वेयर इज पीडीएफ इज You can see in your uh, platform, yeah, जहाँ पे you are live. You can see there is a section called handouts. I am uploading this PDF over there. Just keep it with you. Just let me upload that. Please. I have shared the research paper group पे भी एक बार डाल दूंगा एंड वेबिनार का पी डी एफ है जो ग्रुप पे नहीं जाएगा तो यहीं से आप डाउनलोड कर लो इन टू थ्री मिनट हो जाएगा इट जस्ट अपलोडिंग जस्ट गिव इन समाइम इट समाइम
six and the copy file now. Still it is taking too much time. Uh, no, um, I'm uploading here on handouts because this will eventually, you know, uh, send you an email, maybe. Book, Kwanza, 30 masters. If you need any book, na just see here. Remember this site, b-ok.org. If you need any any book, just go here. If you need any research paper as well, Google se karke aa rahe ho, so just you know, just go here. And just type thirty days. What was the title? Market mastery, okay. Thirty days to yeah. Both the files are uploaded. You can download them. See here. Acha, it's not Jake. It's Jacob. Okay. Download it from here. You will see for uh, this. Books, ye wala site hai. If you want research paper, come on to this site. Site ka naam wa pe jo aara hai, wo nahi hai. If you go directly to this site, it may or may not work. The site ka naam is, is ko kya hua abhi? Okay, just a minute. Site ka naam is b dash ok dot org. Remember this. Yeah, apko fir wo site se kahi bhi leke jata hai. Ye URL kabi kam karega, kabi nahi karega. B dash ok dot cc dot xyz wo sab aata hai. And yahan pe you see this green button. This is articles. You just click on that and uh, go and look for any research article, any topic you like. I normally do this thing on the like um, trading and management. Let's see how much you get, what you get. These are all the research papers. See this. Somebody has done the research on take profit and stop loss comparison of various method people use using trading uh, MACD trading system. So that's where you can do your, you uh, know, log research career you can read. It's fairly a new paper, 2018. So you just click and download. Oh, so here again. Okay. That reading this research is difficult, huh? Okay, normally you don't see charts, but 
lots of equations are there so what he is doing algorithmic trading take profit stop loss mac d and atr so kuch mix kiya hai first he will define his setups its rules for take profit and this and then okay isme so charts bhi hai it's nice atr ko kuch manipulate kiya hai this chart pe bhi visible hai how he is taking so like that you go on reading acha lag raha to isne jahan se ye kya acha ye chalo isme itna hi dikhe anyways you download this is not for preview i am just watching it for preview isliye 10 page dikha raha you download you will get full paper okay remember that site b dash okay dot org bahut kaam ka site hai you will get each and every kind of book which is available somewhere online trading book or self help book or novel so cooking book so anything anything engineering ka book so ca walo ka commerce walo ka book so anything बुक्स किसी से अभी मांगने का जरूरत आई होप आपको नेक्स्ट टाइम से नहीं पढ़ना चाहिए जस्ट गो सर्च आइडेंटिफाई योर इंटरेस्ट स्टार्ट वर्किंग आई होप आई डोंट सी एनी क्वेश्चन सो सी यू ऑन वेनसडे मे बी so thank you for uh, attending guys uh, just work on this and i don't know like you trade you don't trade on this system i don't mind like just work on this system because next webinar uh, which we will be conducting on this dynamic channel will be really important and life changing for you so thoda is pe practice karke rakhna Uh, thank you everyone let's call it a day uh, have a good day